show I had to dip into my own pocket for this <laughs> cost me a bloody fortune but let me tell you worth every penny give it up for the Magnum Rosé gladiators <laughs> that's the that's the name they told me to announce them with which is a, was it his idea yeah this is Chris Walker say hello to Chris Walker <laughs> Arthur Thompson on drums. Hey. And Mr. John Stoddart on keyboards, vocals. And uh, my name is Dave Cos. Thank you so much for, for being here. And I can't believe that you're here. This is great. Dylan, you're here. That's very, very nice. Stand up and show your toga. Dylan. Dylan Chambers. That looks like a handmade toga. Party City, yes. <laughs> it's what we do. And, oh, wait a minute. There's somebody who really fills out a toga. Come on up. Come on up. This is the moose. <laughs> he deserves a bit more applause. I mean... Moose. The moose is here. Careful, careful of this uh, speaker. Yeah, he's, it's not easy to see in that thing. Okay, come on up here, moose. Are you doing okay? No, you can, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. There he is. I love him so. Oh, Steve, just touched me in my toga area. My special toga areas. No touching, we, we agreed on that, right? That was one of the conditions of your restraining order. So. Uh, <laughs> You're very cute. You're not talking tonight, are you? I put the microphone in his nostril. It's not pretty. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. Uh, you're off to the toga party right now, right? You're going to go? You're gonna, yeah, you're going to get your dance on. You get your groove on. Isn't Mrs. Moose here? Mrs. Moose is here. She's here somewhere. Is Mrs. Moose? Oh, Mrs. Moose right over there in a toga. All right. Take him, um, take him uh, to the toga party and get your groove on. 
and then do whatever mooses do late at night. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause. That is the moose. He's got a theme song now. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of people that uh, we can't do this show without, I wasn't speaking of people that we do, uh, can do this show without, actually. But speaking of it, now that I brought it up, uh, I would like to introduce my co-host. He's not my partner, but he is my partner, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, how about some serious noise for the incredible Aussie himself. The Man of Steel, the Iron Man, if you will, Pete Klingon! Yeah. Pete, look at this, Pete. They delivered the beers. They delivered the beers, let's special the, for the morning. Let's get down to business straight away. Here Jeez. you go, big oh. fella. Oh. You want it in there? So oh, yes, I do. Case. Which means that it's people coffee, will not really. know that it's beer. That's right. But I just announced it, so that's kind of weird. So I'll put that in there. Thank you very, very, very much. And very excited to have a live band. Very excited to have a live audience, which is proof that we have more than six viewers. There it is. Whoa, whoa. That is a big crowd. But I had to pay these people to come, so it's, a, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what a great day. Did you guys have a good day? Day five? Yeah. Sit down, relax. We've got so much to talk about. White night, toga night. Um, I'm really, really hot right now on the Jeffrey Osborne. Did you guys see the Jeffrey Osborne show? That guy is an entertainer. He is so great, but he, I have a bone to pick with him because he said that, um, that everybody is, is so nice. He's like saying, everybody's so nice on this and nobody's swearing, so he just launched into a bunch of swear words. <laughs> and uh, Where was that on the... On, in his show. Just straight from the stage, just went, he went ballistic. How fantastic. And he loved every minute of it. That I want to do it too, but I can't. <laughs> That's fantastic. Contractually not able to do it. I could do it in private. You guys come to my cabin. I'll do, I'll swear all you want for you. No problem. I can do it. I know the words. I know how to spell them too. So uh, anyway, w hi. Hey. How are you by the way? I'm great. Look at me. I'm fantastic. <laughs> You're in a toga. I've got um, one of my daughter's headpieces on, so it's... <laughs> I seem to recognize that, actually. Yeah. She was wearing it earlier, but how is it possible to fit you if it fits her? Or did you stretch it out? Oh, yeah. I she's mean, never going to wear it again. She'll never wear it again. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, not until she's, you know, 30, 31. <laughs> but, <laughs> at her, her first toga party, I'd say. So was she asleep when you stole it from her? Is that... I, I haven't seen her for a couple of hours, actually. She's um, with my in-laws, so... Um, but I, I want to say I... thank you to uh, not only your mom and auntie, but your in-laws as well for taking yeah. care of Coco for the last uh, few days. It's been great. She's, she's our youngest passenger, I think, of all time, right? She uh, is, yeah. And she's done great on this cruise. She's Coffee. a dancing machine. Oh, that's good. So when you sip, I'll sip. Cheers. It's great. This is, uh, oh, that's vodka? Good. Good. <laughs> More of that. Thank you, sir. This reminds me, what was your name, buddy? Lou. New? Lou. 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 Hey, Lou. Yeah, Lou. Say hello to Lou. Lou. Lou, you're representing the Holland America beverage staff, oh. who I just want to say thank you to because they've been bringing, you have been bringing me beverages all week long. And I'm, yeah. I'm really impressed with you guys. Thank you so much. And thank you to the Holland America staff, all of the uh, dining room staff, the, uh, the guys that uh, bring, do you guys have- Cabin stewards. Yeah, cabin stewards are incredible. All the people who work in the restaurants. Um, do you ever get the room service? Do you get room I, service? Yeah. I haven't. No. Fantastic. I'm going to miss that so much because I have to make my own breakfast at home. And I just call now. I just call. All right, leave the thing on the door. Do you guys leave the thing on the door? Yeah. They don't do that at my house. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I have left a note on the door. <laughs> Two eggs, sunny side up with the turkey bacon and also with the coffee and the half and half. And maybe, you know, all the condiments on the bottom with ketchup. I like ketchup with my eggs. Uh, I leave it on the front, my front door. Breakfast never comes. It's unbelievable. So here, 
on the Western Dam, it comes. It's amazing. I'm going to really miss it. What are you going to miss from this cruise? Well, I just think um, just the energy of our guests and uh, how much fun we've had this week, you know. it's. I mean, I, I think it's one of those things, you know, in, in this day and age where we've got all of us sort of have, you know, so much uncertainty in our lives. We come here for a week and we've all got that one common bond, which is the music, but everyone just gets on fantastically well and we enjoy ourselves together. And that's um, something that I'm gonna try and take anyway from, from what I've experienced this week into my life at home. Yeah. That was a very, that's right, a very uncharacteristically serious response from, oh no. Sit your ass down. <laughs> There's the swear word. <laughs> I get one a day. That's it. Uh, Greg Fillingaines right here. Say hello to Greg Fillingaines. Greg, give us two seconds on your uh, on your uh, this uh, tonight. Tonight is the Michael Jackson tribute show, and uh, Greg is the musical director. He's going to be walking us through that. Give me give me a minute on the show tonight, and then go <laughs> all right uh hi it's gonna be um it's gonna be very very special i was asked by dave and i was very honored to be a uh, part of this situation and uh, the, the cool thing about this is that every artist that has their own set um and it has their own show that you've seen you know during the week is going to be involved in this and it's one giant beautiful uh, tapestry that's uh you know, woven together by every artist who's uh, chosen their own song or uh, their own their favorite Michael Jackson song, or if they've recorded their favorite Michael Jackson song on, on prior albums, and uh, we we've all gotten together to uh, pay this uh, single tribute to him, and it's going to be very very special. Um, it covers every range of emotion, and um, you know, it's a wonderful presentation that uh, you know, Dave and his production team have uh, put together, so please, I mean, you don't have anything else to do, we're sailing. That's right. I don't right. know why I have to sell you on this. <laughs> Captive audience. Yeah, but so, I, yeah. Yeah, I have to say, and it, none of it would have happened happen without this guy, because Thank he was you. the music director for Michael Jackson. Thank you. So we, we are, we're doing the music, instead of from the outside in, it's almost like taking the songs from the inside out. And that would have never happened without you. So I'm very happy, happy about that. But um, what's up with the Barry White voice, man? I just woke up. I took a very long nap. And um, yeah, I'm in my PJs. Don't, oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. I said I'm in my PJs. I didn't say I was naked. Oh, my god. Well, I wasn't sure. You know, I'm never sure with you what's going to happen. As you should be. Yeah. But I figured, you know, since you rolled up last night in purple onesies that <laughs> You know, this is the least I could do, so. Actually, that is kind of fair. Yeah. All right, so we're even now. That's correct. It's an even score. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Fillingaines. Greg Fillingaines, see you tomorrow on stage. Thank you. Everybody's got a theme song. <laughs> I'm gonna be very used to you guys. I'm gonna wake up on, on um, what, when do we dock? We take the dock on Tuesday, right? I'm gonna wake up on Wednesday and go, where's my band? <laughs> you made your doorstep at your house. Really? Yeah. Do you, can you, do you guys make me some breakfast too, or? <laughs> no? Okay, whatever. All right, what, what else? What else is on your mind? Well, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Hold on. This will help. All right. Arthur, do you want to do you want to Oh yeah. It? Arthur will absolutely have it. I need to Oh, test, sorry. I need Chris. To test that. Chris I shouldn't really talk about this, but he he does not drink except for on this show. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, oh, 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 you got your Oh, here's more. This is um this is tea. This is a very small shot of tea, it's a herbal, <laughs> herbal tea, and um, when they do the herbal tea, you just line them up right here, it's fine. Uh, when they do the herbal tea, they put the lime. Thanks, this is breakfast tea. Citrus. Yeah. 
But no, I, I, I just wanted to finish what I was saying before uh, Greg stormed our set. <laughs> he did. Which was, um, no, just the energy from you folks this week has been absolutely incredible. And we've, you know, from the artists and musician and crew, we, we've had so much fun ourselves, you know. And, and that's what it's all about. That's what we put on these cruises for is because we all want to have a great time together. So that, that's what I've taken from it. And we... We absolutely couldn't do the cruises without you, for obvious reasons. But it's more than just showing up and uh, people uh, buying cabins and showing up in Venice. It's really about showing up. And I can't like tonight is our we're, we're actually filming this on uh, night five, late at night, very late at night. If you're watching this in the morning, you missed a party. You missed a party, but it's okay. It's all cool. But all these people, look how many people are wearing white tonight and wearing togas. That's the thing that I, I when I walk the halls and walk the rooms and see everybody uh, like celebrating and really buying into it all, that really is the thing that impresses me most. And so this group of guests, and I will say this, there are a lot of newcomers on this, um, on this ship. Any newcomers here? Ah. And I think that you have brought so much spirit to our crues uh, and in, in a very different kind of energy. You know, and I mean, wonderful we've, we've actually had people watch this show. I mean, they, people who have been on before know that how they, bad, know. How, they know how bad this show is. They so. never turn on this channel. <laughs> so we live for the new people, which sadly, when you come back, if you come back, you will not be watching us. So enjoy it while you can. We'll try and be extra bad for you. I, ha I had two comments this week about the morning show. I mean, a, a lot of people did say that they have been watching. One comment was that this year you guys aren't drunk enough. You're not loose enough. So, well, we're trying to rectify that problem now. <laughs> but Better late than never. And, and, and the other one was a, a very serious lady said that you two aren't very well rehearsed. And I sort of... <laughs> Very, very smart woman. Yeah, yeah. She's really got her finger on the pulse yeah. of us. It, 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 took it, never... it, it took it to episode four to realize that, <laughs> mind you. We've been doing this show since, uh, well, we, this 2011. Is our sixth, yeah, yeah, I think it's year. our uh, 41st show. I mean, I count them because. I can't believe you count them. Have you ever once looked at it? Well, funnily enough, my daughter happens to love the morning show. Yeah. And she will actually point out... She does not out, speak yet. No, no, she says, she can say Dave. And, you know, she, she, daddy, she said Dave. She said Dave before she said Dad, actually. <laughs> Which worries me, but... Uh, you, you have bought her a lot of things, though. <laughs> I love that kid. kid. No, I know. So, I mean, she no, knows she, my name. She does like to watch it. So, uh, this year, I, I have seen a few, a, a couple of episodes. Yeah. But normally, we, when we do the, the show, we never talk about it. We never talk about a plan. Actually, we have a plan tonight, only because there's a lot of moving parts. There's a live band. There's special guests. There are you people. So we want to be a little bit more rehearsed. But, but I'm not going to look at this, OK? I'm going to re revolt against the powers that be that have put this in my hand, said, follow the script. You know what? I'm not going to do it. Well, maybe, gonna, just a, maybe just a little bit. Maybe just the tiniest little bit, I'll keep it right here. But only as a crib sheet. And they told me, the powers that be, they said, keep it short. That's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an hour back. So really, it is going to happen. It's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon oh, no, for me right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. I'm ready to go. Uh, one thing I did want to speak about yesterday, since it is the morning show, is the musical Tailgate Party. Rick Braun. Yeah, Rick Braun. And um, a big shout out to uh, the swearing man, Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah, he, he sang the national anthem and, and before. That, mate, that, was, that maybe was the best national anthem I've ever heard. Yeah. It was incredible. It really was. Yeah. And he's, he's such a, I mean, the guy is a, uh, one of the greatest entertainers and greatest communicators. I was talking with Mindy Aber about that because he's, when he takes the stage, it's, and he's having such a great time, it's impossible to not... Enjoy the whole thing with him. I love that Jeffrey Osborne. And Peter White did a great show, too. We got some Peter White fans here. <laughs> Gotta have Peter White on White Night. And then also, I know this is self-serving, but the, the most fun that I had uh, yesterday, if you will, if you'll allow me to say yesterday, I will. Uh, was the Alto Madness with Mindy Abair, 
and Candy Dofer and Michael Linkton. And that, for me, as a saxophone player, to just stand shoulder to shoulder with those three, uh, with the UK Collective, who did a great job, that was so exquisite. <laughs> Woo! Well, there's Mindy Abair right there. <laughs> Mindy, sit down for a minute. I, I heard you mention oh. our names, but I, I'm, it's morning, and I, it's morning, and I need a, a tea. I need, <laughs> I need liquid morning. Yeah, good morning. Oh, hold on. Uh, the citrus has to go. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That'll wake you up. That'll wake you up. So let me ask you this. Between sips. Um, how, <laughs> how are you this morning? How are you? I'm very good. It was a great night last night. It really was. Yeah. Oh, she knows what to do. Like, even though it's tonight, she said last night, she's got the script. Well, you're Better than in, us. You're still in the toga. You look like the party animal. No, I've been going all night. Okay, okay, yeah. Gone into the morning. Um, what, what's, your, what's your takeaway from this cruise? Uh, what's the thing that you'll remember? I got to say, there's just too much to pick one thing. But when you said alto madness, I just had to, I had to get in on that because... You know, I'm just standing there on stage. Candy and I don't get to be on stage together very often. You and I don't get to be on stage together very often. All of us, you know, don't have these chances. So you guys think you're being the audience and you're having fun, but we were like kids in a candy store. It was just so much fun to play these songs we love and be with each other and play with each other and kind of watch each other coming up with parts and... Ah, it was just, it was fun, wasn't it? I, I want to do it again. Yeah. I could, yeah. Yeah. maybe we need to do that on the main stage one of these years. Absolutely, absolutely. So that sticks in my mind because it's, it's fresh from yesterday. But I, you know, I watched Jeffrey Osborne last night. I, you know, I played with Peter White and had fun. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go back to my cabin. And Jeffrey's just out there working it, taking off his shirt, doing all the stuff. And he can't leave. I mean, That'd be wrong. This is, it, it is wrong to leave a Jeffrey Osborne show. It's, it's against the law in about 16 states. But the other thing I want to say too, to our guests is that, um, you know, ostensibly it is all for you. We understand how important it is that you come from so far away and you've spent all this money and you've given us your time. And so therefore all of this is mounted for your enjoyment. But, but. the truth is, <laughs> It's actually for us. <laughs> That's why it all works, is because that all, all the artists and musicians, am I right? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, cool, that, right? otherwise, why would these people be here? I don't know, unless, because I'm not paying them any extra. They don't sleep. They don't they sleep don't either. Sleep. And maybe it's for the drinks, right, Chris? <laughs> Do you need tea? Do you, need Do you want some more tea? More tea, more tea. Anyway, would you please show your love and appreciation for one of the greatest saxophone players and human beings on the planet, Mindy Abair. I love Mindy Abair. It's going to be a good morning for Mindy. Just saying. Uh, okay. Should we tell us, t talk about what we're celebrating today? Yeah, I mean, obviously a lot of uh, people celebrating through the week celebrating everything, you know, so let's uh, get into a few of these. Okay. And, and why not? What a big celebration. And talking about celebrations, I just want to uh, let everyone know that today, see what I've done there since Mindy's been on today, even though it's still yeah. tonight. Um, today at 10 a.m. in the dining room, we're going to do a Mother's Day brunch. We are aware that it's not Mother's Day. The show's not that bad, but... Uh, <laughs> So we are aware that, that it isn't Mother's Day, but we want to celebrate mums anyway, and I think uh, everyone's into that, right? Yeah. yeah. Your mom is here. My or your mom, mom is here. Is yeah, here. well, your she's mom. got no choice. She yeah. has to watch the show. She has to come when we do a live show. She has to go to the Mother's Day brunch. Right. Well, she'll be very happy to do that. She and will, but yeah, 10 a.m. in the dining room. Uh, silver cards, we'd like you to go in on deck number two. Gold cards on deck number three. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. today, we have a special Mother's Day brunch. We're going to have music. We're going to have waffle stations, DK special egg stations, mimosas, Bloody Marys. I mean, the drinking's not going to stop. We're not going to stop now. That's right. Especially with this crowd. That's right. We love this crowd for so, that, but, uh, for that yeah, reason and a thousand other reasons. It's going to be 
be a, a great thing and the Holland America staff have been kind enough to put us put this on for us. So uh, we do encourage you to go to it. You don't have to go at 10 a.m. You'll be seated from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. today. Well, that's right. So it's great, three hours. Or you can stay all three hours, right? If you're hungry or yeah. thirsty, or thirsty. Yes. <laughs> So uh, some celebrating going on, the 25th anniversary, 20th, 25th wedding anniversary for uh, the Olins, uh, they are very happily being here for their uh, silver anniversary. And by the way, um, I do want to acknowledge uh, Rick Braun and his beautiful wife, Christiane, who renewed their vows yesterday in Santorini. They found a church, and Jonathan Butler did the ceremony. And I heard all about it last night, and I uh, heard it was fan fantastic. They've been married for 20 years, so they renewed their vows. So congratulations to the Brons as well. A shout out to Paula Dixon Roderick celebrating with Alan Twisdale, I think it is. 69th birthday. Happy birthday to you, Paula. You go. Kelly Shaw is celebrating a birthday, and Linda Dennis is celebrating her 70th birthday. <laughs> really? Wow. It's the first happy, time that's happened. Happy birthday, Linda. No, Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> okay. It's a little late to that party. All right, Kelly. What number birthday? Do you mind me asking? Get out. You look great. Of course, I can't see you. But you really look, I mean, from here, you look 23. So, Kelly, congratulations. Deborah and Gregory Franklin celebrating a wedding anniversary on board this week. Congratulations. The Smiths. Gene Smith and his wife celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary. And Donna Shank her fifth year wedding anniversary with, I suppose, Mr. Shank. Mr. Shank. Yes. Roseanne Jensen celebrating with Paul and the Peters and the Baileys, I think it is. Uh, happy birthday to you, Roseanne. And Peggy Holmes is celebrating a birthday today uh, with love from your husband, Maurice. And uh, Paula Bratley wrote in saying it will be on, on today, uh, my husband Michael's birthday, so happy birthday. And Sandra Massingill is celebrating her wedding anniversary with Mr. Massingill. And here we have Janet and Lawrence Jackson. Surprisingly, since tonight we have the Michael Jackson tribute show. Janet, I didn't know Janet Jackson was on board this week, but it seems like she is. Janet and Lawrence are celebrating a 32nd wedding anniversary. Congrats. Wow. 32 anniversary and retirement celebration for Stanley Hume. And uh, let's see, Edmund Wimple. My wife will be celebrating a birthday on May 21st. She will turn 67. And I'm celebrating my 70th birthday. It's on July 3. But since there won't be a cruise around that date, I'm celebrating on the May cruise together with my wife. So happy, happy, happy everything to the Wimples. And uh, he, here's a fantastic celebration, DK. Valerie Hike Smith celebrating with, uh, I, I guess, her husband, Robert Smith. But, yeah, well, her husband taking care of her during her journey with breast cancer. And uh, she's celebrating being cancer-free. So Way uh, to yeah. go. That well done, Valerie. Awesome. I hope you're having a great week with us. Happy birthday to Mary LaPierre. Uh, happy an uh, birthday to Angelo Jacobs. Uh, wow, 50th wedding anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Fulmer, Mr. and Mrs. Gary Fulmer. 50 years celebrating right here. Yeah. And Keith and Jennifer Gibbs, 30 years wedding anniversary, the big three zero. That's a great That's one. nothing compared to 50. I got 50 right here. Well, 30's still a big effort. Have you ever been married? No. Okay, 30's, <laughs> move on. 30 sounds pretty good. Okay, you're right. Uh, let's see here. We got 36th wedding anniversary for Corinne Fenley and Mr. Fenley. And wait, there was another one. Good. Uh, oh yeah, the honeymoon. This. I'm sorry to call you out, but you wrote it in here. Uh, Philip Pico and his wife celebrating their honeymoon right now. That's so, a, shh, it's a terrible shh, shame they won't hear this. I'm not going to disturb them. They're not going to disturb them. <laughs> They're not watching anyway, so it's fine. That's a, it's what, fine. what a funny thing they come on a cruise like a music cruise, not to see any music. Well, maybe they saw maybe they saw uh, Jeffrey Osborne. Uh, oh, they would have seen Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of a. I, I mean, mean Jeffrey, that's a Je sexy show. It is, and and it's look, a romantic Je show. Jeffrey Osborne, he knows his way around a bedroom. He knows where to pull the sheets down, and he knows where to get in. Okay. 
What are you talking about? I'm saying that the honeymooners would have been at the Jeffrey Osborne show. Well, why don't you just say that? Why do you have to say that other stuff? Yeah, it's a family show, Pete. Yeah, baby. Your no. mum is here, for God's sakes. What did you do to this guy? Pull the sheets, baby. By the way, Pete's got the coolest mom ever. She is, she, by the way, she can drink him under the table. I mean, where do you think he learned it from? Not his dad. I loved your dad, the bruiser. He, he, he could put it away. He did. <laughs> so you had both influences, That's mom right. and dad. Yeah. That's yeah. great. You should be so proud. Yeah. <laughs> really. What an attribute. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Ridley and Violet Clark celebrating their 60th birthdays on board this week. And happy birthday to uh, Paula Dixon Roderick's husband. Don't have the name here. That's very nice, though. Alan. <laughs> really? Are you guys here? Paula, is that you? Alan. Man, you look... What number are you celebrating? Man, you look like... It's pretty spry for 69, if you know what I mean. He's got one thing on his mind. Did you talk to him earlier? No, I didn't. Jeffrey yeah. might have spoken. Yes. Him well, happy birthday. Happy 69th birthday, buddy. We just lost control of the show. 30-year uh, friendship celebrating uh, for Linda Glings and a 25th anniversary celebration for Kip Rahe. And uh, his wife goes uh, by the name of Sina. And a 40th wedding anniversary for the Sanchez's. 40 years, that's awesome. That's all I've got. We got Mary Carter celebrating her 70th birthday. Welcome on board, Mary. Oh. This, I met these people. Sherry Buckley, I don't have the, the, the fellow's name, but they told me this whole thing. They met, actually met at my concert seven years in, ago in Dallas. They met because she went up to, it was like the House of Blues in Dallas, and she went up to where he was sitting and asked for, to, for a stool or something to sit on. And he gave her his stool, and then they started talking, and then they started dating, and then they dated for quite a long time, because they just got married just now. So that's seven years wow. of courtship. But they got married, and they, and then they, taking their honeymoon on this cruise. Nice story, isn't it? That's a real, true story. I love it. What's that? Oh, yeah, should we do? Okay, we're ready for some music now, because we never have music on the show. It's a bunch of talking, everybody's bored, so let's have some music. What are you guys gonna play? Um, well, why don't you play with us? We wanna play something with you, Dave. You wanna play? Yeah, we, wanna, we want, you guys wanna hear Dave play? But you know what, it's so early, it's so early or late, whatever, uh, and uh, I don't even have a sax, and so, you know what? <laughs> How did that get here? Seriously. All right, well, I, I suppose, well, does, uh, does Mindy have a saxophone? Is Mindy Ooh, still here? Is Mindy still here? Mindy! Nope. Wait. Yep. Yeah. She's here. She's here. Yeah. She's got a saxophone. Come over here. Oh. Give her a round of applause. This should be interesting. What are we gonna play?
Cars and the Magnum Rose Gladiators. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Mindy A. Bear. That is so cool. Sounding so good, it's so early in the morning. That is so nice. I get very used to this. How good was that? Amazing. It might have been the best thing we've ever done on a morning show. The production value alone. I mean, we have no budget. Zero. The only budget that we have is for cocktails. Which we spent about six weeks ago, so... Uh, okay, so... Oh, you know what? We have another guest. We do. And this is actually a bit of a special request for me. Because my mum and auntie are here in the crowd tonight. And uh, this is a direct quote from both of them that... This man, they're both nearly single. I just want to throw that out there. What is nearly single? N newly, newly, oh, newly, newly single. Newly single, sorry. Yes, it's a little bit of the Aussie thing. That, by the way, I don't get yeah. most, pretty much most of what he says I don't get. I just play along. <laughs> I get maybe like 35, 36% and it's, of what it's, he it's, says. I mean, there's something in this coffee. This coffee is rubbish. Let me tell you that right now. Well, it's rubbish? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what... I, there's something that, I don't know, I'm probably not being as See what I mean? articulate I as I I don't even know be. what the hell he's talking about right now. <laughs> but, it's the coffee, but I do want to say that this is, a, it's a bit of a special uh, request for me because this is a direct quote from my mum and my auntie that this man could put his slippers under their bed any time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez, it just went there. <laughs> First we had the 69 thing, and now this, and the sheets, and the everything. I'm just, this is, this is just a new low for us uh, it's, 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 it's a new high. It's a new, of course he would say it's a new high. <laughs> You're high as a kite right now. Uh, and, 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 and the great thing is, is that it's, you know, I mean, this man is loved universally, not just through our crews here, no. but worldwide. I, I have to say, uh, well, he's very happily married Sadly, ladies, I'm sorry that, that you can't. You, but you can look from afar, and I bet you he'll, you know, let you kiss his cheek. You know, we can do that right now, if you'd like. We, we can do that right now as I introduce the person that we're talking about, Mr. Javier Colon. Javier, allow me to introduce you firstly to Pete's mom, Sue. This is, this is Sue. Go ahead, let him nuzzle up. Not too long, Sue. Auntie Julie, Auntie Julie. You don't have to kiss everybody in the audience, but say hello to Javier Colon, come on. Get your own walk-on music, buddy. Isn't that nice? Thank you guys very, very, very much. You really sound great. Still not getting paid, but you sound great. <laughs> so uh, Javier has really been an MVP of this tour, don't you think? Uh, so, thank many, you, so many great shows. And tonight is all leading up to his song, Tonight. I'm not going to give it away, but it's really good. It's really good. It's very triumphant. Thank you. And very important to the show. And the James Taylor Show. And the James Taylor Show. When is the James Taylor Show? The James Taylor Show is tonight at 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. in the uh, Billboard on, sta um, on board. Yeah. That's Billboard hard to board. say, isn't it? It Billboard is a tongue on twister. Board. Yeah. Say it five times fast. It's kind of like, can you say Sea View Pool? Sea View Pool. So that's not a problem for sea you. Sea View Pool. Sea View Pool. Sea View Pool. No, nope, you said Sea View Pool. Yeah, you're right. See? <laughs> Well, you say billboard on board five times. Billboard on board, billboard on board, billboard on board. You see? <laughs> <laughs> see? This coffee is decaf. <laughs> so that's why I have a problem with it. Do you want some coffee, Hans? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some tea? Because we can order up some tea for no, you. No, no, I'm fine. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I don't There's water. Tea. But yeah. thank you. Water I will take. Thank Javier, you. before we do our little thing, because we planned a little thing. <laughs> Just making sure you guys didn't play a trick on me. Yeah. <laughs> Smell it. It's real water. Uh, give us your, your moment of the cruise so far. A moment. Um, you know, my moment uh, of the cruise, let's see. I would have to say, um, aside from the moment my wife came on board, that, which was nice. uh, amazing. That was my favorite part uh, for me. The lovely um, Maureen. Thank you. Um, 
but I would say uh, I think Santorini is my favorite place on earth so far. Favorite place on earth? It's, I mean, that caldera that yeah. is just, you guys know what the caldera is, right? You know, yeah. Um, it's, it's just phenomenal to look at it as like a nature, like I, I love all things National Geographic and, and it, it, you know, we talk about it with our kids all the time, watch all these videos, and to see that that was once a, a volcano that, and, you know, that erupted and, you know, it, it's just, it's fascinating to me. So that was, it was beautiful. Most people just talk about the feta cheese. <laughs> And the feta cheese was amazing too. Isn't the feta? No doubt. I mean, we can get feta in, in America. We can get it, but it doesn't taste like that. No, it was the, I had the, the best Greek salad on the planet. If yeah. you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it. I took a picture of it and it's like the, the feta cheese was the size of like a, an eight by 10. Yeah. But it was amazing. A slab, if it you It was will. a slab of cheese, but it was phenomenal. Well, thank you for sharing that and thank you for being here and thank you for doing such an incredible job on this. On Thanks this for having me. We love you. Thank you. So, our idea was to maybe hob on that side and me on this side to maybe hear from some of our guests, a yeah. few of our guests, on what your moment was from the cruise. So, Hob, why don't you start? I'm going to start here. here. You know, I'm going to yeah. start. I'm going to start right here. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Tell everybody your name. Robin Gore. Robin Gore. Very nice That's to meet Jay you. That's Jay Gore's yes. cousin. cousin. That's right. Very, very good to see you. Uh, Robin, tell me what your favorite part of this, uh, this week has been. Um, being with my Aunt Lois and her friend Sue and Jay and seeing these ama the amazing performances with everybody. Any particular performance that sticks out? No, no pressure because I'm asking. <laughs> don't, it, you don't, yeah. Mr. Cause, one of my favorites. Wow, thank you. I'll get you yes. that $5. Um, and the girls, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, right after the and, show. And Mindy's a friend and I love seeing her and I and met and I met and talked with Candy, and we had lunch today and then breakfast with Candy and Sheila E. And it's just magical, just magical in this place. Awesome. But yeah. Thank you. Thank that was you. amazing. Thank you very so much. So you had a great week. Good to see you. Well, this is, uh, I've just come to you because you look so beautiful, Helen. This is Helen Stoddart, who happens to be married to John Stoddart. And I can tell that you are a phenomenal wife because you're here. <laughs> you could be in bed right now. But Helen, what, maybe what's your, your uh, this, this, for this last week, what, what was the moment for you? Oh, I have to say that Santorini was amazing. That was on my bucket list to um, experience Santorini. I figured when we got to Fira, I was like, that's not really it. I have to see the Blue Domes. And so when we got to the Blue Domes and I was able to share it with my favorite husband, I was so excited. What do you mean your favorite husband? <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me, John? <laughs> you want to rephrase that? <laughs> like the best one I've ever had. How many have you had, Helen? Just one. Oh, okay, good. Well, you're batting a thousand, buddy. Fantastic. Thank you, Helen. Give her a round of applause. I'm gonna work my, work my way this way, and I'm gonna say, oh, she, she does not make an eye contact with me. She doesn't want me to talk to her. Um, hello, I'm, I'm sorry to bother, but I'm gonna talk to you right now. Is that okay? Sure. What's your, na what's your name? Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, where are you from? Texas. Texas, what part of Texas? Irving. Irving, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, Irving, Texas. Everybody. <laughs> Jackie, can you tell me one moment uh, this week that, that sticks out to you that, uh, that was your favorite? I think uh, kicking it off and going down the Grand Canal, I really enjoyed that. Yes, that was, yeah, that was amazing. And this is my first Dave Cos cruise. I've been trying to get on the, the Dave Cos cruise for years, so I was totally Woo! excited. Yes, first way to go. Cruise. We're happy to have you. We're really happy to you. Thank you so much, Jackie. Very nice to meet you. Okay, sir. How are you, buddy? Just fine. What's your name? You're not going to hurt me, are you? No. <laughs> Just coming up to you. Shy. You, you, see his, you should see his face. William, you should see this guy's face. He's like, why are you here? What's your name, buddy? Your name? Charles. Hello, Charles. Where are you from, by the way? Uh, Washington, D.C. Yeah. Wow. And what about you? And is this, uh, is this person related to you in some way? 42 years. So that's a yes? Yes. Okay. And what's your name? Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry for bending over you. Uh, so what do you think? What, what was the moment for you guys? 
I think who was the three? Uh, last night. Last uh, night. Jenny Lattimore. Yeah. Chris, Chris Walker. Chris Walker. And Javier. And Javier. Who who was at that show? You guys here. Those, these two are your friends right here? Yeah. How co and that one, how come you're, you're not all sitting together if they're your friends? Oh, you came in late? Here. I thought maybe it's day, day six, you guys are not yeah, talking guys. to each other anymore. Here's it. Here's it. You, want, you want euros? You want euros or US? They take you or euros. Euros is cool. You sure? Thank you. Thank you so Thank you, much. I just making much. sure Thank I didn't you. have to pay somebody off. Real, very, very nice. Real quick. I'll take care of them for you. Just keep your money. Okay, all right. Keep your money. All right, what you Thank got, Huff? Thank you for that. Okay, my turn. Um, let's see, going down the road. You, sir, he's looking, looking away again. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Great, Mike. Mike? Excellent, Mike, where are you from? Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, RDU. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Raleigh, North Carolina, anybody? Raleigh. Excellent. What's that? Tar Heels. Yes, go Tar Heels. Um, Mike, tell me your, uh, your well, how many, how many cruises is this for you? First cruise, another first time cruiser, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. Second for the wife. Is this your wife? And what's your name? Madeline. Madeline, very nice to meet you, Madeline. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so tell me, if, if, uh, if you had to pick one moment this week, uh, what would that one moment uh, be for you? Well, we're here for the music, so thank you, Dave. Woo. But we love Vincent. Yeah, Vincent's awesome. Vincent is amazing. Vincent Ngala. Is that you talking about? Yes, Vincent Ngala. Yeah, I mean, isn't he, isn't he awesome? Vincent is the future. He is the future. He is, the future. He is amazing. And I can't, you know, he really made me mad the other day when, you know, I've known Vincent for the last year because I met him on, on the cruise. Uh, was it, well, he, was on the, he was on the cruise. No. He was? Yes, he was on the cruise. So I met him last year. And he was, uh, you know, playing the sax amazingly. And then he plays the guitar. And I'm like, oh, wow, he plays the guitar. And then he starts singing. And I'm like, oh, man, wow. He's, he can really sing. And then, yeah, like, it was like three days ago. He really pissed me off. Can I say that? I can I say he, yeah. Well, kind of. According to late. Jeffrey Osborne, it, you can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> say whatever you want, Javier. Why he got, we stop there? He was in the ocean bar. And he got on the drums. And he started whooping it. And it was amazing. And I'm and like, I hate keyboards. you. Keyboards. Did you play keys too? I'm gonna kick him off the ship. Yeah. In a second. Just and wait till time. day eight, okay? okay? And then you can do whatever you want with him. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you, Mike, for sharing. I appreciate that. Very nice to meet you, Matt. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Let's see here. Excuse me. I'm coming through here. I'm coming through here. Who wants to? Not you, because that's Mrs. Cologne right there. Wait. You know what? You can take a bow. Stand up and take a bow. Take a bow, because this woman is the greatest. I love her. That's my baby. That's my baby. Love you. She's okay. going to. Oh, she, hi. Yeah. How are you? What, what's, your, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Dominique. Dominique. So what, for you, was the moment? Coming to your show was probably a highlight. I've always loved you. <laughs> um, since that's why I'm really here, is to come and see your show. But I thought, I think they've all been unbelievable. I think Rick Braun, Richard Elliott loved that show. Um, it's just all been fantastic. And you came from very far away from South Africa, right? I did, indeed. What city in South Africa? Cape Town. Has anybody been to Cape Town? The greatest city. Don't you agree? There's something about, I mean, I know there's a lot of great cities in the world. We've seen a bunch of them on this cruise. But Cape Town, that would be so cool to go to Cape Town one day on the cruise. You know, do, do they do cruises in Cape Town? No, do you, 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 I'd love you to come and do a cruise. Well, it was a hell of a let, lo, lot less travel for you, wouldn't it be? Absolutely. Will you come? Will you come? But would it be a... Uh, it's gotten out of hand, hasn't it? <laughs> it's just, you know, stay, Chris, stay away from the sacks, okay? Just, it's unbelievable. Dominique, thank you very much. Give her a round of applause. Dominique, coming all the way from Cape Town. So, uh, can you stick around for a minute? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, sure. What and uh, we'll, we'll go over day six, what's, uh, what's okay. happening. Are you okay? Absolutely. All oh, right. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Just a quick shout out to our dear friend um, who has been shooting all of our shows and uh, he, he's the unsung hero of our show and that is William, our cameraman. Thank William. you, William. Thank you, William. He, he brings kind of a Martin Scorsese kind of quality, I think. 
He really to the knows show. what he's he, yeah. yeah. You got a lot of reverb on your voice, man. Yeah, it's uh, I just I have it with me all the time. It's yeah. Just, yeah. It's just carry it with speaking. you. I just carry it with me. I always have reverb. It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to be invited back on this ship. I just have a feeling. Uh, so let's talk about a few things that we can uh, look forward to ahead. It's uh, uh, our second sea day. Very excited. It kicks off right in this room in the Queen's Lounge, also known as BB King's, with Glynis Albright making her world famous waffles. These are melt in your wa uh, your mouth. Uh, melt in your. I don't know what the heck I was saying. <laughs> Must be the coffee. But uh, I do. Have some more tea. Have you, uh, keep that away. Uh, I'll have some more tea. Glynis is married to Gerald Albright, and she is a phenomenal uh, businesswoman and entrepreneur, and she makes the best waffles on the planet. It is, it is really, really true. Definitely true. Yeah, yeah. You, have you had the waffles? No. Okay. <laughs> But you might want to show up here at 9 o'clock and get a taste of one of those waffles. You should just stay there for, like, nine hours, and you'll be right here for it. But you probably won't move because you'd be passed out. I have had the waffles, Dave. I will say, I can say I've had the waffles, and they are, you do not want to miss them. They're phenomenal. Yeah. There's like crack in them or something. It's, it's definitely it's, heroin or something. It's, it's, it's amazing. You put it in your mouth, it dissolves. You, you don't have a chance to chew it. Yeah, it's just be, while it goes into your mouth, it's no longer. Right. You, except for the taste. The taste lingers. Is this getting anybody excited or? <laughs> <laughs> you got to. It's very poetic though. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he warned me about this. He said, if he has any, anything to drink, he turns into another person. All week long, Chris Walker's been the model of perfect behavior. <laughs> He's just been absolutely a dream. He's been a model citizen and a model artist. And it's all going to you know where right now, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're going to be all right for tomorrow, right? Absolutely. Okay, great. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what else we got? You're gonna give him the microphone for just a yeah, second. Yeah, Hogging the microphone. Sorry. Unbelievable. Coffee and Marcus Anderson, 10 a.m. Oh. And uh, it's maybe not a lot of our guests know that Marcus is also a coffee connoisseur. And yeah. I don't often use the word connoisseur, That's but right. in Marcus's case, I do. And he's got his own line of coffee, and you could try the coffee and just hang out with Marcus and hear him play. He's been a, a f phenomenal artist, first timer for us, and I really want to give him a big round of applause for doing such a great job the last week. Also, the DK Mother's Day brunch, silver cards are on deck two, gold cards deck three, please. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow. Go whenever you like. It's going to be fantastic fun. And this is very near and dear to my heart. I was talking about it tonight, uh, or last night, uh, on the main stage, the Starlight Children's Foundation Silent Auction. I've worked with Starlight for about 20 years now. This is an organization that uh, helps kids that are in the hospital for long periods of time, burn victims, cancer victims. These are just young kids who want to be kids. And because of their situation, they can't. So Starlight, through various programs, they really brighten the lives of these kids and put smiles back on their faces. And I've seen it. I've seen it so many times. These are heroes, these kids that are fighting adversity, and yet they're, they're so strong, and they're, they're forging forward, and uh, I've learned so much from these young kids over the years. So everything that I try and do, it's my charity of choice. I try and raise awareness and raise funds uh, to keep Starlight doing their incredible mission. And over the uh, course of the last five years, our crews, and through the generosity of our crew's guests, have raised over $500,000 for Starlight. That's pretty impressive. And it is, and the generosity of our artists as well, because, I mean, you, you folks, go and check this out uh, tomorrow or tonight, tomorrow, in the Explorer's Lounge, or it's, it's also called uh, Lincoln Center Stage, Deck 2, just near the dining room and uh, the artists have come to the party big time as well you know because our, our guests have come on and and done these incredible things for us but the artists have provided once in a lifetime experiences 
And right. so, so they've come to the party hard as well. And, uh, I mean, it, it is an incredible thing. And, uh, yeah, you've done an incredible job, DK. I'm well, very, very proud of that. And uh, so even if you're just interested to see what's up for bid, there's some fabulous items. There's beautiful saxophones that have been signed for by all the artists and musicians on board. There's a great guitar. These are collectible items, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, memorabilia. So if you're a fan of the music, you definitely want to go check it out. There's lots of trips and really cool trips. So, uh, and know this, that if you do bid, uh, and you do win the, the uh, item that your money is going to a very, very good place in helping these kids that need our help. So that's the Starlight Children's Foundation uh, silent auction that goes from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. Our last bids, the, the auction closes at 4 o'clock. And uh, two great lady, two great ladies, two great friends of yours, Pat Prescott and Valerie Simpson, the one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. That's going to be in the crow's nest. Uh, sorry. The Ocean, Ocean Bar, bar. Mm -hmm. is coffee, once again. <laughs> and that's that Valerie Simpson is a treasure, an American treasure, a world treasure, actually. She's a music royalty and has so much to say. I've been on the road with her, uh, and I've learned so much from her. She's a fantastic human being, so be sure to check that one out. British Invasion, the uh, Beatles, the Stones and more. This is going to be with the UK Collective and Peter White is going to be making an appearance as well. This is at the Lido Pool, the Midship Pool on deck number nine at noon. And we also are going to split up, if just for an hour, split up the men and the women on this ship. The Sisterhood is going to happen at 1.30 p.m. in the Crow's Nest. That's all the women. And uh, anything can happen in this group, and I am not invited. Uh, but the, the guys are going to get together in the uh, speakeasy or an onboard man cave that's called Just Us Guys, also at 1.30 p.m., and that's happening right here in the Queen's Lounge. And then So You Think You Can Jam, the finale. Now, our winner will be performing, I believe, on night seven. That's right. Before our tribute to Al Jarreau, is that correct? That, that is true. Uh, we have really talented passengers on board. The, I'm very worried about that right now, what you're doing. Very worried. More coffee. Seriously concerned, because I, you started this show with such vim and vigor, and it's really descended. Has it really? Yeah, well, I, a little tiny bit. Okay. Well, right? I'm going to find it again. You go on. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to come back hard so, next. So you... <laughs> <laughs> So you think you can jam. Very Please. talented passengers on Please. board this ship. And uh, so we are going to celebrate them at the Lido pool for round three. And that happens at 2.30 p.m. So be sure to come to the Lido to cheer on your fellow passengers. The winner will appear on night seven. They're going to start the evening off on the main stage. It's a lot of pressure, but we're very happy to provide that. Upstairs in the Crow's Nest, 3.30 p.m. This is going to be massive. And it is our master class guitars in the round Jonathan Butler, Adam Hordley, Jay Gore, Mark James, Peter White, and Paul Jackson Jr. People really love the master classes this yeah. week. Yeah, the informative oh, they've been fantastic, classes. and so well attended. By the way, maybe the best attended uh, master classes and one-on-ones that we've had ever. In and it is years. our icons uh, after DK after dark as well. And we start early in the afternoon with the young gun Vincent in gala. And this guy, I mean. He loves Elvis. Yeah. A lot of people love Elvis. This guy loves Elvis. You look like Elvis. Is that the not, king? Not right now, but sometimes you do. Elvis wasn't a big toga party guy. Not a big, uh, didn't wear berets uh, with, with daffodils in them either uh, very much. Uh, well. But many other at attributes are very Elvis-like of you. But Vincent uh, loves Elvis, and he will play a lot of Elvis music and more. That's at 4 p.m. at the Lido Pool. Uh, let's see here. Patrick Bradley's got a show in the Ocean Bar at 5 o'clock. We've got John, John Stoddart. Stoddart. John Stoddart. I, and and you've, you've given me a bit of grief about this all week, the way I pronounce John's last name. We Americans say Stoddart, but you say Stoddart. Stoddart. I like I like that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start pronouncing it like that. I like that. John Stoddart. That's good news. So you're doing a uh, uh, Frank Sinatra. I'm gonna do a tribute to Frank Sinatra. All right, where's my reverb? Where's my reverb? There we go. Thank I you. <laughs> I, feel, I feel more something with the reverb on. It just uh, give us eight bars of something, uh, Frank Sinatra. Uh, love and marriage. Love. And marriage go together like a horse and carriage. This 
I tell you, brother, you can't have one, you can't have none, you can't have one without the other. That's, that's a good little taste. It's interesting that you chose that song, seeing as though you're... you're you caught me off guard. Well, you, it's your, your, you are your wife's favorite husband. Favorite husband. Yeah. Uh, that's, so. yeah, Helen loves this strange. Man. She loves him. There. It's her favorite husband. Favorite husband of all time. <laughs> Only husband, but favorite husband, <laughs> which I love. I really, really love that. And then, of course, the big one tonight is Remember the Time, an all-star tribute to the King of Pop. Who's going to our all-star show? Yes, every hand should be raised, and if you're in your cabin, you should raise your hand right now. Because you, I, we can see you. That's right. Hi. How are you? Don't get out of bed for us. Just stay in bed right there. You know what? Call room service and have them deliver breakfast in bed. Because, you know, in a couple days, you're going to put that thing out your door, and they're not going to come. <laughs> they're not going to come. So we have two more days for you to get that happening, get that in. So put it out there. Well, now it's too late to put it out there. But uh, you can call them, and they'll bring you breakfast, or go I to will. the Mother's Day brunch. OK. Where were we? Oh, uh, also, Aubrey Logan does an icon series tonight. Aubrey Logan made a lot of fans, new fans, on this ship this week. She's going to sing the Burt Backrack songbook. We've got I uh, iconic R&B duets with Rebecca Jade and Ken Turner, the two lead vocalists from our uh, Santorini soul band. Oh, fantastic. And then we also continue with the music of Earth, Wind, and Fire oh. in our uh, After Dark. Uh, the LA Collective plays the music of Earth, Wind, and Fire. And Javier Colon will sing the music of James Taylor. <laughs> and we also have icons of classic rock happening in the Ocean Bar. And, of course, our big all-star after party, which is uh, going right. to be taking uh, place in the crow's nest. And uh, I know where I will be, and you will be probably, right? Of course, gambling with the stars. And that's where uh, all of our artists will come out. And who knows what's going to happen. They might be you know, dealing your cards for them. They might be playing next to you. You might be winning money with them. But uh, it is a great night where we try and take down the house. Let's do it. So that is day six. And we hope that you have a wonderful day on the Wester Dam. But before we let you go, uh, <laughs> before we let you go and get him to bed uh, for the first time uh, all week, uh, I was wondering if Javier could do something special for us. Do you think? I know you hate to pull focus away from Chris Walker. <laughs> Oh, this guy from yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much, Brian. Hey, this is Brian Foisey, our production director. Just show while he's getting ready. This is Brian Foisey in a toga. Yes. He is so angry with me right now. Not for bringing him out, for making him wear a toga. And I did. I said, you are so fired if you don't put this thing on. Never going to talk to me again. <laughs> Javier, what are you going to do? Um, well, you know, since we're doing uh, the James Taylor tribute show uh, tonight, I figured it would be fitting to do a little, uh, little James Taylor right now. Can I do a little, give you a little taste? Is that, yes. Is that cool? <clears throat> Things are gonna be just 
satisfied if you only will do as I say now child with people you love with love show them the way that you feel things are gonna be just fine if, if you only Alone. Once you tell somebody the way they feel, you can feel it beginning to eat. I think it's true what they say about the squeaky wheel. Javier Colon, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Thank you. Thank you. We're not going to finish on a better note than that. That's beautiful and a very appropriate song. Thank I you. Couldn't imagine a more appropriate song for the way that I hope everybody is feeling on this ship. Yes. Showering with love. That's the way it's feeling. So thank you so much, Hav. Thank you to Mindy Abair. Yes. Thank you to all of you who are here for our live audience. Once again, the uh, uh, Magnum Rose Gladiators. That's yes. John Stodat, <laughs> Arthur Thompson, and Chris Walker right here. Yeah. They're going to play us out. Ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic day aboard the Westerdam Holland America line. Enjoy yourselves to the fullest. So much going on. Thank you so much. Enjoy.
dripping kisses for the light fire. Yes, I got some candy kisses for your lips. Yes, I got some honey, some chocolate dripping kisses for love bridge. My life has been waiting for your love. My arms have been waiting for your love to have it. My heart has been waiting. Ha <laughs> ha!